Western Baseball in Gainesville, Florida. And we thank you for being with us as well. And the first pitch proves the outside edge for a strike, and that's a good way to start the outing for beat Brandon Neely. Kind of helps that on base percentage. And he's down on strengths to begin the night here in game one of this set. And give a little bit different looks with his slider and off-speed pitches. There's Colby Shelton, the shortstop. Two away. That's a good sign from Neely right here. Oh, one to Jordan. And a hot shot on one hop to Kags. He remains error free this season. First innings this season. As Shelton is first pitch swinging, hammers this one out in the left center. It's going to hang up a little bit. And there is Isaac to make the catch. At bat at LSU on Saturday. That's going to make a bid. Out to right field. Adios. Home run. Ty Evans. Seventh of the year. Gators are on the board. Staying hot. Tybo got that fastball middle of the plate. Didn't do too much with it. Stayed inside the ball. And hey, Nick, he hit it at the right field where the wind's blowing today. So got the Gators on the board early and got out to a good start. And, and that's the one thing. They're going to have him pitch the way the wind dictates it. And that home run he gave up was just the fifth that he's given up all year. And he seemed to to be unfazed by the one out home run. And he ropes one into right center field for the first hit of the game for Mississippi State. Yeah, that's all he's been doing the last couple weeks to answer all of that. Neely's second strikeout of the night. Isaac down on strikes one away. State there, he, he didn't have that, that mentality. Lifted out in the left and Sheldon's gonna play it on a hop. Yeah, he just didn't see it off the bat. Hit off the end of the bat, and he thought it was going to travel more than it did, and just didn't get a good jump on it. Things and misses, but he is truly a sinker slider guy. There Frozen. it is right there. Strikeout number three for Neely. Two gone here in the top of the second. Bryce Chance, their designated hitter. Bouncing ball, charging. Shelton will go to first with it, and the side is retired. No runs, two hits. Batting average with balls and plate are hitting 387. That one's belted into Mershon's mitt. Spins, throws. Wow, what a play. 1-2 to Thomas. 1-2-3 inning. Nick Belmonte, I think uh, you saw that coming. He's everywhere in every direction possible. Hot shot backhanded by Thomas. That's a long throw, and it's wide. Might be two. Flip the curling on the turn, safe. Kags even with those long legs. And you can see the home plate umpire right here as well, giving a nod to the first base umpire, saying he was on, letting him know he was on. Be a big plus for Neely. And he walked him. There goes the runner, swing and a miss. Throw to second, not in time. That's going to bring in a run. And that stolen base ends up being huge. RBI number 39 for Dakota Jordan. And the game now tied at one. The payoff from Neely. Got him. Five, six, and seven straight on the road for them this weekend. That ball is hammered to left. Tanner Garrison. Home run. Mr. Garrison. first as a Gator. Mr. Garrison's first home run as a Gator fastball right down Broadway and got the good swing off and got it up in the air and gets a little handshake with Taylor Black right there and celebrate with his boys. First for Garrison, 55th now on the year for the Florida Gators. Control this pitching staff and lead this team from a defensive perspective and every once in a while run the ball out of the yard. See, okay, one two from Cal Steven. That's a pretty pitch. Swing and a miss. With that tone of kid like, hey, this is your game, man. You go out there and solidify a win for us. Hmm. Well, Nilly came inside. Right through the hole on the right side. Probably first and third. Evans up with it. They will not cut the throw. Good block by Thomas, but they're at the corners here with one out. Get out in front of a team. That one is poked through the right side as well. The ball game's tied. And Evans trying to get another man at third base. Did he leave the bag? No. Kept the left foot on. Fruition is he's the man up in the bullpen. And that's ball four. And they're loaded. One-two delivery. 
Inside. He went around. He went around. They're going to appeal the swing. No swing, says first base umpire Seth Buckminster. Does he swing at the pitch? No, he held up. Had that ball bat traveled past home plate, you could have called it a swing, but he held up. His last two outings, five and then six innings. Swinging a fly ball into deep center. This is going to score the run. Ma Robertson is there to make the catch. Tagging a third chance. Will come home to score, and the throw to second, unable to get a tagging. And the Gators are going to intentionally walk Dakota Jordan. Gators had some momentum with a pair of home runs. And ball four means it's 5-2 to two, Mississippi State. Going uh, Arkansas Vandy. Should be a play for Caglione. Right on the line. Third out. Brought up in married housing in Starkville on the campus. Ball four and a base runner here for the Gators. Herlin's in a hole here. One ball, two strikes. And out on strikes. Two gone in the Gator half of the fourth. One, two. Hit well. Doesn't see it. Into center. Now he does. High sack. It was already deep. Didn't have to move much. How about a base hit to the left side? Let's go, Tanner. Have a night. Runner going. Ball four. One, two. And a big moment goes the way of the Bulldogs here. And a fist pump and why not from Cal Steven. Bulldog catcher reached on an error in the third, walked and then scored in the fourth. And he smokes one on one, hop out the shell, not in left. Lead off man aboard for the Bulldogs. Really charging up Fisher. Line drive right at Curlin. Can they double him off? Flip to the bag. Not in time. And they will intentionally walk Jordan again. The Fort Myers miracle. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout for Cade Fisher. You're a pin drop right now. Oh, he got a piece of it and then bobbled and caught by Long for the out. That's just something you don't see every day. You do not see that every day. That's what you call squeezing it without squeezing it. <laughs> that's a great play and focus by Long right there. That's a that's a tough thing to do. Pitch number 97 on the edge. Strike three called. Gators go down in order. Two more strikeouts. How about at Arkansas right now? See, I've never been to either, so it's hard for me to say, but being <laughs> Being in Omaha, that was not an easy place to play, and it was full of LSU fans, so mm -hmm. I can only imagine how it's 100% full of LSU fans at their own park. Awaits a 1-2 pitch. Runner going. Outside, throw by Garrison off the mark. His products where he's really switched in and out his arm slot. And an RBI as he shoots it out in the center, and into score is Heisak. So twice the Bulldogs have stolen a base to put a man in scoring position, and each time he's come around. Played even with two outs if you don't settle down. Curlin, who has shifted to the bag, backhands and makes the throw to first. 3 2 now to Yost. Breaking ball is ball four. He got a base runner here with one out. Hey, any way you can. Quick throw over, and Yost is picked off first base. Oh, boy. They don't have a whole lot of saves. Auger does have two of them. And Hines drops the baseball. He called off Schulke, who was in position to make the catch. Pulls him with Shelton coming up. Stayed with that, drives it into center, and a sliding catch made by Heisen. What a grab. Pitcher till he hurt his arm. Strike three call. Down on strikes for the second time tonight is the leadoff hitter, Amani Larry. There you go, Blake. There you going forward. Payoff pitch inside. Ball four, one out walk. And that'll bring Jordan to the plate with a man in front of him against the Tigers. Back to the mound. Slowed. They'll get the force on the lead runner. As Mershon, I think, in the state capital. Pitch. Back up the middle in the shift. Shelton gloves. Did he get the tag? He did. He applies a tag to Jordan to get the third out. Just start the inning out, start a rally, do something. I mean, 3 1 pitch. Ball four. Two are on now for the Gators. Shelton to second base. Pretty good off speed pitch, like a slider or a changeup mix. That ball's a rocket off the first baseman, Hines. Scrambling to get a throw to the bag and did just in time. 
Both runners advance, obviously, to second and third. There's Shelnut. Rounds one to third. A run will score. It is six to three. So Shelnut, who's reached base in a team high 12 straight with a walk earlier tonight, puts it in play and does plate Shelton. Check that runner at second. Now the one two. That's ripped down the left field line. Evans will come around third at six to four and a two out RBI double for Cade Curlin. Big knock by Cade right there. I mean, he's been late on heaters all day long and two run game. The payoff. Belted into right field, but right toward Jordan. Puts it away. Gators get two runs. You know, Luke McNeely might be that guy. That's a big strikeout to start the ninth inning. Down yeah. on strikes, high sack for the second time tonight. That's a big part of being a catcher nowadays. Harrison wanted it down. It's right there. It had a lot of movement on it. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for McNeely. Congratulations. Here's the one, two. See you later. Out on strikes is Kohler, and McNeely strikes out the side here in the top of the ninth. That one is smoked the opposite way. Opposite field base hit to start it off. And Hayden Yost, who came in to pinch it in the seventh, has reached twice. Over the middle of the plate. Sends it back to the screen on <laughs> ball four. The 2-2. Two -two. Bonded it. Foul. So Robertson strikes out. One gone in the bottom of the ninth inning. Kick in a 1-2. Got him. Two gone, and the Gators are down to it now. Ty Evans is next. So that was, a, that was a really good job right there. Evans rips one into left field. One run's going to score. Round third is Yost. 6-5. The tying run moves to second base. Part, part of me was saying, keep the runners at first and second so you got to pitch the Kags. Well, one pitch. Off the end of the bat. Booted by the third baseman. Everybody's safe. Well, that's not what you expected. <laughs> I think the spin rate on the ball off the bat was higher than the one <laughs> to the plate. Not good. Payoff pitch on the way. Ball four. This game is tied. Breaking you know, ball. You know a thing or two there, Nick, huh? <laughs> or no, he didn't oh, get in the box fast enough. And so he's down a strike already. The 0-2. Chop this one up for the Gators. Ty Evans scores. 7 6 the final. Florida wins game one of the series with three runs in the bottom of the ninth inning, and they're mobbing Curland out in the outfield.